Well, hello and welcome to uh, my home in Aberdeen uh, for the Ballater Gallery on tour, if you like. I am still standing just, but this is the third video of, from my home in Aberdeen this morning and the last one. Why? I've mentioned it before, because we had a huge delivery and I can't thank my artists enough for uh, painting like mad uh, to get me some uh, new paintings for opening in um, the end of April. The particular artists we feature today are the ones who are actually selling incredibly well. And I couldn't be more excited to tell you that we have seven new paintings by the one and only Jack Morocco. For the last two months, we've had nothing by Jack because why? Because we've sold out. Look at the website, you'll see all of the phenomenal paintings that he's painted over the last year, which have sold with red dots. And I, I couldn't tell you how happy I was when Jack said, OK, been working really hard, David, and got seven new paintings for you. So uh, I've hung them all up in the kitchen to give you an idea. Let's talk about arguably one of the most exciting of the paintings. We have sold a few of Jack's lily ponds, which are massively in demand. And what he's painted here for me is a lily pond, but with setting sun. So you've got the reflection of the setting sun. It's moody, you've got purples, you've got oranges, you've got lots of deep blacks and even a bit of blue. Moodiness um, is just throughout that one, that wonderful painting by Jack. And you know, it could look incredible as a statement. It's a big painting. You know, it is um, 30 by 40 inches, which is almost 40 by 50 inches. I've often spoke about the very high quality framing, which Jack Morocco uses, which is black and um, real gold leaf. And they're statements themselves and works of art, actually, the framing. So um, we've got Lily Pond Setting Sun, 30 by 40 inches. It's an important new painting, very different from other Lily Ponds, and could look even good in a bedroom. It's got the whole moodiness, as I say, and the, the ambiance uh, as well. Um, that painting's £10,750, and I think, as we've all said before, about painters of the ilk of Jack Morocco, right at the very, very top of their game in um, British art, not just Scottish art. And, you know, it has to be said, these paintings by Morocco are investment pieces. I'm sure most of you know, Jack Morocco uh, is one of the biggest names, and from one of the biggest art artistic dynasties in Scotland, he went to Duncan of Jordanston, he was taught by the likes of David McClure and I think um, Jack Knox and his uncle Alberto Morocco. So um, we are thrilled to bits to be doing so well for Jack Morocco. And I'm also thrilled that so many people in the Northeast have really, and not just, well, not just the Northeast, in fact, I think six of the paintings that we've sold probably at the beginning of this year, actually, we've couriered them to Edinburgh. So uh, have a look at this painting. I love it. Now, I've had a studio still life by Jack in my own house for a long time, and they just give such a feeling of well-being and joy when you come in the door. You know, I've got one in my hallway, and it's, I love it. You know, look at the colours here, you know, in this painting. So this painting is called Loot, Loot Lilies and Harlequin. It's 34 by 36, so the best part, including the frame of about four feet by four feet. So if you look... At the little boy all dressed up, if you look at the turquoise, the pink, this is, this is, this is Jack Morocco. And, uh, you know, if you're an avid art collector and you didn't instantly know this was a Morocco, I would go into a dark room and rest for a few days because it's just classic, typical, wonderful studio still life. Follow me around here. Uh, watch your feet, Tom. And we're going from a big painting to two lovely, classy little paintings. You know, who wouldn't find a spot for these utter crackers? La Piazzetta passing the clouds at the top and La Piazzetta morning light. Of course, they are the, in, in Venice, they're the, but La Piazzetta is a smaller version of the piazza. So um, the small squares leading um, around St. Mark's in Venice. You know, Jack doesn't make a fool of small paintings. The framing is just exquisite. And 
Who wouldn't, couldn't find a place for these? These are only £2,600. They're 8 by 10 inches, which is roughly speaking about 16 by 16, roughly inches, including the, the gorgeous frames. Um, so if you are thinking, wow, I'd love a Jack Morocco, but I might not be able to afford one. £2,600, you can get in, if you like, on a, on a starter level to own a Morocco. Or, like many people who bu will probably buy these, they already have, and they're wanting to add on more investments. As somebody said to me, and I've mentioned this before, as good as having cash in the bank, or better, let's face it. Look at this. So here we go. This is gorgeous. This is white lilies and silver ewer. It's 30 by 30 inches, so that's roughly, including the frame, about 40 by 40 inches. Not everybody can paint with the confidence which allows you to put orange, um, almost a fuchsia pink going on towards purple, turquoise together, and whites. And it just, they don't date. You know, the, the Morocco, I think that's why they do so well at auctions as well. They're classic, important pieces of art. So then we'll go here. This is very, very me again. So this is another studio still life. I, I couldn't be more excited, as I was saying, to have two studio still lifes by Jack Morocco. I think the, shade, the green, I think the mask, I think the apples, I think the, the beach scene of the painting in the background and the orange, it's just utterly beautiful. What's it called? It's called Gitan Guitar and Saltenbank. Gitan de, de Guitar was a famous gypsy it's guitar and I think you'll agree it's just beautiful and it's actually quite a calming painting and I think the shade the the color combination and the balance is beautiful let's go along to this painting here um, this is the last if you like of the seven new paintings it's a nice size and it's called it's called the vegetable market at Aix en Provence. Jack uh, had a house near there, so what's, it's got the busyness, it's got, I think again, the things people are missing uh, this year. People aren't going on holiday, people, well hopefully they are this year, but you've just got the busyness, the happiness of a real market stall. Funnily enough, I think this painting, although it could go in a drawing room, it could go in a hallway, but wouldn't it be great in a kitchen with all the foods and the vegetables and everything there? So. That painting, um, Vegetable Marquise en Provence, is 12 by 12 inches, so it's roughly speaking about 18 by 18 inches, including the beautiful frame and the soft, um, the gold leaf, and then the softness of the Faro and Ball shades after that. Um, £2,995, so it's bigger than the Venice paintings. And again, you know, at that entry level, if you're wanting to buy your first Morocco, it's under £3,000. You know, when you look at the we Jack Morocco sells um, from collectors, from people who love his work, but also people who are buying art as an investment. How could you go wrong with that wonderful painting that will bring you a lot of joy forever? I think we'll just go back to where we started, if that's all right, to I finish this little chat about um, Jack Morocco. And if we look deeply into, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call any of them the star painting, but this is, I think, going to get quite a lot of attention because, as I was saying, it's Lily Pond setting sun. So it's very different from the others. And, you know, even if you had one of Jack's other famous Lily Pond paintings, um, which have all got that sort of French Impressionist style, and they're so good for blending with all types of interior decor, um, you, this could actually go with another lily pond, if you liked, if you've got the green ones in the daylight, because as I say, this is setting sun. So I'm going to finish off uh, here by uh, just saying to you, you know, get in touch with me quite quickly. Uh, seven Jack Moroccos, look at the way they've sold before, they don't hang around. David at ballotagallery.co.uk. I am still standing, I hope I've not bored you all to death uh, today because it's been three videos, but I think what we've done is we've done them in stages and Tom might drop them in. So you've not had to listen to me yabble on and on, but genuinely very excited by what I've spoken about today. Video one, Alison Cowan. Video two, Linda Park. Video three, Jack Morocco. Thanks for listening.